It's just heartbreaking to see what happened to him. I'm brokenhearted. I've been crying for the last two days knowing that he's no longer here to share all of his inspiration and his prayers and everything with us. You can hear the pain in her voice. That was a grieving parishioner talking about how the death of a Catholic bishop has affected her and her community. David O'Connell was shot and killed over the weekend at his home near Los Angeles. Authorities now have a man in custody, and they say that the attacker knew him. The person of interest was identified as Carlos Medina. Medina is the husband of Bishop O'Connell's housekeeper. Let's now go to CNN's Josh Campbell, my friend who was live there in Los Angeles up in early this morning. Um, Josh, what more are, are you learning about what happened here? I know there are so many people that are heartbroken uh, that this bishop has been killed. Yeah, Sarah, good morning to you. You know, 65-year-old Carlos Medina was arrested yesterday by a Los Angeles Sheriff's Department tactical team after this hours-long standoff. And just to walk you through the timeline here, authorities say that Bishop David O'Connell, who was renowned for his work as a community peacemaker, was found dead Saturday in his home. A church deacon actually went to check on him after the bishop was late for a meeting. The sheriff says it was a tipster who helped them solve the case. That unidentified person told police that Medina had been acting strange and made comments about the bishop owing him money. Now, sheriff's detectives also were able to gather surveillance footage near the crime scene, which allegedly showed an SUV similar to Medina's pulling into the bishop's driveway and departing a short time later. L.A. Sheriff Robert Luna tells us that the motive right now is unclear, and although there have been reports of some type of financial dispute, Luna said his investigators have not yet drawn any conclusions. I'm not standing here in front of you telling you it's a dispute over money yet. It's something that we've heard uh, to this point, and that is something that the detectives will go out and validate and see if it's true or not. Based on what I know, at this time, uh, the suspect uh, had been at the bishop's house before doing work, uh, so there was some kind of a, maybe a working relationship, but we're still trying to figure out what that relationship was. Now, Medina has not yet been charged, and CNN is attempting to identify whether he has an attorney. But this case is so puzzling, Sarah. You know, you and I have covered so many of these murder cases where you often hear from a family member or a neighbor saying, yeah, this was a troubled person. They had a criminal past. We're actually hearing from neighbors saying that they were actually stunned to hear that this person has been implicated in this murder. One neighbor telling our uh, colleagues, KCAL, our affiliate here in Los Angeles, that Medina was, quote, your average grandpa. So a lot of questions that remain uh, regarding him and as investigators work to piece together what happened here and why, community members and of all faiths here in L.A. and indeed across the country have been expressing anger and grief over the brutal killing of this beloved bishop, Sarah. It is really disturbing. Josh, you always have the best information. Thank you so much for joining us there from Los Angeles.